I have ADHD, which I kind of knew already, but wow, what a thing to actually be told. Ooh. Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things home education in the United Kingdom and neurodivergent life in a family of five. Uh, that encompasses everything, everything that comes with being a mum to the my rabble of kids. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me that you are still here. Uh, we've had some new subscribers recently, so that's really cool. It makes me super happy when I see you pop up on the screen. And um, yeah, I, I kind of go woo -hoo -hoo, and get a little dance, do a little dance every single time. So if you could see me, you every time when you hit subscribe, I'm like woo -hoo -hoo. So there you go. And as it says in the intro to the video, I have ADHD. My, I filmed a video and posted it just a little while ago about my assessment. And I got my results uh, yesterday, and that is, I have ADHD. And I just sat and read through my ADHD report, and I was gonna post another video today, and I thought, actually, no, I really just wanna sit down, film this, and get it out the same day, because I just wanna chat about it. I wanna chat about some feelings that have come up for me. Um, I know that a few of you have commented back, and a few of you messaged me saying, hey, yeah, me too. I'm about to go for my assessment, or I just went and asked my GP, or I wanna go ask my GP. And, um, and yeah, I'm here with you, I'm here with you, gang. So. I just read my report, it was 14 pages, and some of it was wrong, actually, like, <laughs> my, a friend of mine joked that my husband, uh, maybe that the person really liked my husband, liked the sound of my husband, <laughs> because uh, he is, his praises are sung, um, I don't think I sung his praises that much, um, but yeah, so it's, it was hard to read, um, talking about my childhood, and things I struggled with when I was a child, and how I was perceived when I was a child as being naughty, uh, not trying hard enough, talks too much, all of those things. <laughs> Thankfully, I get to talk to all of you. Um, yeah, it was hard. It was hard going. And I have combined type. That's the thing that I know now. Uh, leaning more towards the inattention than the hyperactivity, uh, but not by much, to be fair. Um, yeah, and I was given some insights in the report of medication that the uh, assessor thinks I should try. Ow, just bit inside my mouth. Um, also, some lifestyle changes, which most of them I already do. They were things like have a high protein breakfast, low glycemic index, diet, um, uh, trying to get enough sleep, all of that sort of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I already do that. Like, already worked that one out. Um, but yeah, like I was interested to see what lifestyle changes they would recommend. Um, and it's like the things I like, I don't think there's anything in there that I, I mean, I'll have another read through it, but the lifestyle changes they suggested, they're not changes because I already do them. Uh, my diet could probably be lower glycemic index, but, um, than it is, but you know, so yeah, um, I read through my report and I'm honest, I'm feeling a lot of shame, I'm feeling guilt, I'm feeling um, like a weird, oh, how can I describe it? I have maintained to my children who are all on the autistic spectrum that disability, being disabled, like saying I am disabled, is not a, like disabled is not a dirty word um that it's fine you can say it you don't have to like make a cutesy word out of it going differently abled or special educational needs or any of the things you can just say disabled it's okay um oi oi leave that alone taylor leave it leave it sorry about that she's trying to eat a plant this is a silly baby um, yeah, and now it's kind of coming to terms with like ADHD is class of disability in the UK and it was like, oh. Um, yeah, okay. Now I've actually got to believe that when I say it, like not feel ashamed or uncomfortable with like using that word, but in the context of myself. Um, so that's an interesting, that's going to be an interesting journey to go on now. I'm going to sit with that for a little bit, see how I feel. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and eat a really high protein meal. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, I just wanted to 
uh, encourage anyone who's watching and I'm not going to go into a huge process about my report or anything because that's super private and we've got to have boundaries but I just want to encourage anyone who's thinking um, about going and asking their GP, G, G, blah, 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 GP for an autism or ADHD diagnosis uh, go for it go on go on I believe in you you can do it um, if I can do it you can do it and that it's it is a little bit scary but it's not the scariest thing you've ever done in your life I can absolutely guarantee that and uh, you're gonna be all right and you're gonna come out the other side and you'll know for sure you'll be able to give cut yourself some slack and give yourself some grace and compassion when you mess up and when you do things that are maybe a little bit awkward or quirky or whatever and you can say hey it's okay I'm autistic or hey it's okay I have ADHD and I think that's the biggest thing for me is to I've got now got an excuse in my mind to give myself some grace which I'm not very good at historically I'm not good at giving myself grace I'll give it to everybody else but I won't give it to myself and finally what was the one moment please sorry uh taylor was chewing some lollies today because she got out of the craft box i'm not entirely sure how she got them anyway um yeah and the biggest thing and i'll end this video here i'm going to keep it short and sweet is all of those teachers at my schools and when i, I did a did a tiktok about this and i haven't posted it yet but i cried when i was doing it, it was, <clears throat> all those teachers from year R all the way to year six and in senior school who wrote school reports about me who said oh my god I'm gonna cry again <sighs> who said that I talked too much that I was smart but uh you know I didn't try hard enough that I had so much potential if only I focused more the said I just needed to sit still I just needed to talk I needed to stop socializing I need to stop talking I just need to stop socializing and all of those things I just had to stop doing and then I would have been absolutely super well wasn't naughty I wasn't not listening I wasn't not trying my hardest I wasn't not trying my best I just had ADHD and you missed it that seems like a them problem, really, doesn't it? Not a me problem, but I'm the one who has to carry the consequences of them missing it. And I hear anyone watching this who maybe is a teacher or is pro school going, but they didn't know about it then. That's not the point. They should have. They knew the boys could get ADHD. Why didn't it occur to anyone to kind of look out for it in girls too? But right there is another reason why I home educate. I knew before I sent my children, before my children were compulsory school age, they were all neurodiverse, that school was not going to be the right place for them. So I home educated right from the beginning. They've never been to school. Because if they could fail, if my teachers could fail me, Then my teachers could, then their teachers could fail them. And I get it. And I get why. And I know rationally all of those reasons why. But emotionally, I'm heartbroken for the little girl who was always being told off for something she couldn't control. Not my kids. Not here. Home education for the win. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to see you very, very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more home education content. And we've got some kind of mum stuff coming up. We've got some Yule stuff coming up because it's almost Yule paganism. Um, yeah, we've got some cool stuff coming up. And if I'm not posting a long form video, I'm posting a short. So check them out. Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying on TikTok too, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last um i am on a fitness journey at the moment um to make some lifestyle <clears throat> excuse me make some lifestyle changes make some diet changes is anyone interested in that i'll ask in the community tab um but yeah let me know are you interested in seeing that because i will film it if you want me to i'm i'm okay with filming it that's kind of i've, I've sat with it i'm okay with it but if uh, if you don't want to see it then i just won't post it that's fine as well so there you go I'm gonna go and I will see you very very soon thank you for listening and thank you for being here you mean the world to me and I hope you have 
the best day. Bye.